Welcome back, my friends. I hope by now you have a drum track and you have a bass track. And you have quantized both of them so that they sound decent and they sound that they, they, they sound like they go with the song, with the clicks. But for this step, you're going to want to click this so that it's not highlighted purple. Or this one for that matter. Because you don't want to hear that for this part that we're going to do. This part, we're going to save our song as mp3 files. An mp3 file is basically the most widespread version of music file that you see on the web. It's the one that you're going to use the most for whatever you're doing, whether it's YouTube or making apps or using it on a website. Whatever you're going to be doing, chances are it's going to be an mp3 file. So we're going to make an mp3 file. What you need to do to make your mp3 file is to, well, first thing you should do is save this file because in case something ever happens to it, you don't want it to start over. So click on file, click save. So this is where you choose your location for where it's going to be saved on your computer. I'm going to just keep it to GarageBand. It's going to be a GarageBand folder. Where it says save as, I like to do it this way. I like to just put my name. And you can put the title of the song. For me, I'll say Udemy because, you know, it's Udemy. And then I like to put the date of when I started it because I want to just be able to find it very easily. I'll be like, oh, what's that song I did back in December? And I could just easily find it because the date is right on the file. That's just my way of doing it. You can do it your whatever way you want, but I think it's better. So for me, I'm going to do that. So today is 12. 19 14 so I do it that way because I want to know where it is and I want to know when I did it so click save and you know it's saved because up here the file says what I just typed now I need to save it as an mp3 file which is totally different than a GarageBand file a GarageBand file will say dot band on it and it won't play anywhere besides GarageBand and you can't like put it on your iPod or anything. You need to make it as an mp3 file. Think of it like this. Think of it like the GarageBand file is kind of like a big stack of papers on your desk and you can't really deliver that easily. It's like too much to handle. Making an mp3 file is kind of like putting all the pieces of paper into an envelope and sealing the envelope. Now it's easy to transfer. You can put it in mailboxes and you can send it to other people easier without losing things. It's, it's, not, it's not all a big disorganized mess anymore. We're con we condensed it into one single object. That's basically what we're going to do right now. We're going to make it condensed so that we can share it with other people. So click on share and then click. Well, these, these are the options. You can make it ringtone for iTunes. You can put it on SoundCloud. Uh, song to iTunes, whatever you want. But for our purpose, we're going to go to export song to disc. Click on that. So it says save as, and it gives you a. Well, it ta it takes your file name from GarageBand and puts it as your default. You don't need to do that anymore. You can just hit delete and give your song a title. For me, for my purposes, once again, I'm going to do Matt. You to me, 12, 19, 1, 4. You don't need to do it that way. You can do it whatever song title you want. But I know that I'm going to just do something else like this later on. So I want to just keep it simple for myself. Location where? For this case, I'm going to put desktop. I'm going to put desktop because I want to be able to find it very easily for our course. So desktop, put it right on your main desktop of your computer. Here's where you choose your file type. So you can make it uncompressed, which is going to be like a way bigger file, um, high quality. But this one is the one we're going to use. Like I said, MP3 is very common, so use MP3. Click on export. And just don't touch anything. Let it, let it do what it has to do. Give it a minute. And if it's finished... We should be able to minimize this. Minimizes the yellow button over here. And that is our file. If you click 
on the file and click spacebar, you can preview your song that you just made. Okay, a lot of times people don't forget to change that metronome setting with the clicks and you'll hear the clicks throughout the whole song because they click that. So luckily we didn't have the clicks because it sounds very amateur with the metronome click going on the whole song. Also, like we said, it's a very basic song, but we already made our first track, which is great. We made our first song. Now we're going to take it to another level, but we already have our first mp3 file. But now we're going to take it to a new level. It's going to sound way better. It's going to be really cool.